Hey guys, today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Nah, I'm just kidding, we're going to the beach. <laughs> Beautiful day, well, beautiful evening. The sun's gonna be going down in a few hours. It's gonna be another one of those quick hunts and I already see a guy metal detecting out in front of me. I literally just turned on my machine <laughs> and I got a loud hit right here. Let's see what we got. Oh, there it is. Start off with a penny. All right, right next to that penny is what's probably another penny <laughs> sitting right on top. It's probably just a pocket spill. Sure does blend in, but there it is, another penny. Sounds pretty good. Current's pulling pretty hard right now. Oh, there it is. What did we get? What the heck kind of coin is that? Oh, 50 euro cents. Oh, that's cool. Right before my trip to Europe. I'll be leaving in two weeks, actually. Sweet. All right, nice high tone. So. I'm gonna get ahead of the current. So when I scoop this up, it should stay right in my scoop. Even though I think whatever this is, is gonna be pretty heavy. It sounds like a coin maybe. I don't know if I got it in this scoop or not. Probably not. Oh no, I did. Okay, cool. Let's see what we got. Oh, I see something. We got an earring. Cool, bunch of little hearts, just a cheapy. Definitely some junk jewelry, but hey, we got some jewelry. Let's keep it up. Okay, nice solid hit right here. Well, gotta get through some shells. It sounds like it might be a few inches down, probably three, four inches. Ugh, this current's pushing me though. Not making it easy probably a pull tab or something. <laughs> oh, a golden pull tab, of course. All right, well, this sounds pretty good. Ooh, it's a nice easy scoop too. Did I get it? Ooh, I did. Oh boy, that's a full scoop. Let's try to get as much of that out as we can. Oh my goodness. I might just go up on shore and dump this out. It's probably easier. Oh, nope, nope, nope. I see it, I see it. Just a fishing weight. All right. First real solid mid-tone of the day. Could be a nickel. It could be gold, you never know. We got it though. Let's see what we got. <coughs> you see that guys? I think we got a ring. Yep. Oh, <laughs> no, we don't have a ring. <laughs> we got a cute little earring. Not gold, unfortunately. That's gonna be plated, but oh, that was exciting. <laughs> All right, well, let's keep going. Thank 
Okay, this sounds like a kind of a small target. Might be a coin or something. I don't know. It's actually not loud enough to be a coin. But we got it. All right. Yeah, I don't see anything. Yeah, I'm going to dump this out. Rescan the hole. Maybe I just missed it. Whoop. It's right here. Uh, yeah, I think it must have just fallen through the scoop or something. So I'm going to be very careful. It might be like an earring or something. And if I just keep all the contents in the bottom of my scoop there, it's where the small holes are. Hopefully, it doesn't fall through. Oh, I see it. I see it. We got it. I think it's jewelry. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, <laughs> we got a bag of money, guys. World's smallest bag of money, but too bad it's not a real bag of money. What a cool thing. <laughs> That's excellent. That's just like a charm off of a bracelet or a necklace or something, but oh, that is too cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Find of the day right there. We got a bag of money. <laughs> Title of the video, no clickbait. Okay, we got a screamer here, but kind of sounds like a penny. So I'm not going to hold my breath. It's in the scoop. And there it is. We got, bam, penny. <laughs> um, guys, I've had a lot of other MindLab Excalibur users uh, message me and ask me what shaft I'm using. This is the Owl Engineering shaft. Uh, so Chuck, he's the owner of Owl Engineering. And um, he's been working on this shaft for a while now. And you know, you may have seen in other videos where I had one of these brand new and it broke. And you know, maybe that would have persuaded you to not get one. But that was the old style. He's updated it now. It's fully carbon fiber, strong. It, it doesn't have any flex to it. The thing just cuts through the water like butter. It's amazing. So um, if you are an Excalibur user and you primarily hunt the water, oh, low tone right here. Uh, so yeah, if you primarily hunt the water with an Excalibur, do yourself a favor and give one of these a shot. The difference in the swing speed is drastically different than the stock shaft or even uh, any of those larger, I think they're seven eighths diameter shafts. But you know, with improved swing speed, you cover more ground quicker and you get a lot more out of your hunts. Uh, <laughs> I think whatever this is, is this big ball of stuff sitting right on top. Oh yeah, I see it. It's a fishing weight tied to all kinds of nonsense. Well, it's really good to get that out of the water. Yeah, no hooks or anything. That's good. Okay, let's see what this is. I think it's in the scoop. Ugh. Oh, something else down there. Sounds like a bottle cap. Coil just passed right over it. Oh, I see it. I see it. It's a cross. Cool. Pendant off of some cheap little necklace, but all right. Well guys, I think that's gonna do it for us tonight. It was a fun but short evening hunt. We didn't knock it out of the park today, but it was still a lot of fun. Yeah, I think our find of the day would have to be that bag of money. You know, that was a pretty cool gold earring with the smiley faces on it, but I think that bag of money takes it. Uh, if you do like these kinds of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. Um, always feel free to leave me a comment, ask me any questions. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.